Currently on the screen is one of two live streaming webcams. On mainland Japan, Hokkaido, and somewhere in Tokyo City. This is Force 13 with the latest on Typhoon Tremi. Currently located 21 decimal 7 degrees north, 129 decimal 2 degrees east. Movement over the last 6 hours, CI 45 degrees at 1 knot. Maximum sustained winds 90 knots, gusting 110. Japanese Meteorological Agency has the typhoon deepening and on the 28th it should be down around 9.35 minute past. This is the life of the typhoon up to a few hours ago. Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has the Typhoon Tremi 28W located 298 nautical miles south southeast of Kadena Air Force Base, Okinawa, and is tracking northeast at one knot. Here's the latest John Typhoon Warning Centers track. Typhoon 28W has maintained a wide and ragged eye with moderate to deep convection wrapping around it. The Vorak is T590 knots. Environmental analysis shows that the typhoon is experiencing favourable vertical wind shear 5 to 10 knots. Excellent radial outflow. Sea surface temperatures remain favourable 28 29 degrees Celsius. Now, here's a look at the NOAA flight and what does one say about this typhoon when you see these various flavours? However, ocean heat content has diminished due to the fact that the typhoon has remained quite sea stationary over the last 24 hours and has caused up running in the area. It remains in a weak steering environment while in between a subtropical ridge located to the west and a second ridge located to the east. The typhoon is expected to track slowly north to northwest while it remains positioned between the two steering ridges. The steering ridge to the east will eventually become the dominant steering feature and allow the typhoon to increase in track speed as it moves to the northwest by 36 hours. The typhoon will begin to round the steering axis and then start to track northeast. As the typhoon rounds the steering ridge, it will encounter warmer sea surface temperatures. Outflow will improve as it taps into the rest of these. Now, here's some tracks along with intensity. This will allow Typhoon to re-intensify to 105 knots by 48 hours. JTWC forecast track is placed in a multi-model consensus. Models agree that the Typhoon will track northwest and northeast. However, dynamic model guidance has a spread of 120 nautical miles by 48 hours with NAPJAM. The rest of most outliner Therefore, there is low confidence in this portion of the JTWC forecast track. 
Now here's a look at total precipitable water. You can clearly see the typhoon. By 72 hours or close to the 72 hour mark, the typhoon will continue to accelerate to the northeast around the steering wedge as it interacts with the approaching west to east moving shortwave trough. And the typhoon will begin extra tropical transition by 72 hours as it interacts with the trough. Now the upper level divergence is around 60 knots, wind shear, 24 hour shear tendency. You can clearly see that the typhoon remains in favourable conditions. We have the 850 mile bar vorticity. And whilst the priority is uh, typhoon tramming, there's still a bit more activity within the rest pack and down here in the southern hemisphere where I'm keeping an eye on the category one cyclone blue and thanks to Levi Cow and Tropical Tidbits further tracked as the typhoon accelerates north Eastward, it will decrease in overall intensity with an expanding wind field and will complete the will complete ETT by 96 hours and dynamic model guidance is in good agreement that the typhoon will track northeast. So that's the latest on uh, typhoon Trami. There's quite a bit of activity uh, elsewhere and Nathan will have the next update. Bye for now. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.